I got interested in sustainability, design and entrepreneurship. Um, it was a little bit to do with my background. I was working in renewable energy um, in the Caribbean. Uh, before that, years ago, I used to be an art and design student and I also did a degree in engineering. So I've always had the interest in the three things. I just never knew until I found a degree that there was actually an academic path that would consolidate these things for me. Uh, returning back to school for a master's after working for three years was interesting. Uh, I enjoyed it. It was very refreshing. It was very different. When you're working, you get very used to a routine. You go back into academia and it is fairly free flow. You know, you, you choose your, your times a little bit more, your interaction. You interact with a lot more new people. I really enjoyed that. You get experience with a lot more things. I think one thing that I really enjoyed about it was access to a lot of new information. The exciting thing about access to lots of information and new activities is that for me, I got the opportunity to explore new ideas and in doing that I came across this whole concept or, or really dig deeper into energy storage and looking at um, the trends and you know more vehicles going electric, more things around us going electric, well that probably means that there may be some more consideration needed for the battery. The way we make the battery today, we don't really consider what happens to it at end of life, but that may be a challenge as we start to build bigger batteries. You know, we power, you know, service station, utilities, homes. You know, it's no longer a cell phone or a laptop battery we're talking about. We're talking about a massive system, and it could be a massive waste, a waste problem, or it could be a substantial opportunity. So I, I started to think of new things because I had access to new information, and I came up with a new idea. Really appreciative of a lot of the support that the university provided and one particular avenue that they, they really provided was their relationship with the Central Research Laboratory. Um, I remember at the time it was exactly what a tinkerer like myself would want uh, in terms of a workspace. You had workshops with CNC machines, 3D printers, you had lots of people working on lots of different things. It was just a really exciting space to work. Um, two o'clock in the morning, it's not unusual to be here, you know, having cornflakes, talking to people about different ideas. And uh, it was really exciting when, when the university was saying, well, hey, we, we um, you know, we work with this, um, this accelerator space and they're really great when it comes to, you know, ideas at the university stage that you want to now build up into a business model. Maybe you should have a conversation with these guys. So it was that, that kind of light touch, you know, conversation or introduction that led me to this path where I started to, to build the business in the Central Research Laboratory. Uh, now that I've moved on from university and I've been working in, um, in my own business for a number of years, we've had quite a, a few successes. Uh, we had a couple of lows as well, but we've had many successes. We currently supply products to Central America, East Africa and Europe. Uh, we're really excited to support um, industries such as renewable energy. We also support some exciting projects like light mobility. We build batteries for electric watercraft, quad bikes. We may even be in some electric shared mobility devices very soon.